All right, this is Greg with Seven Lights, and I have with me again today Dr. Beth, um, author of many different health books, but one that she has done that we're going to talk about today is on Forskolin. Uh, Forskolin got a lot of uh, notoriety years ago for its uh, benefits with weight loss and, and fat burning. Uh, however, in Beth's book, she gets into a number of different things that Forskolin is also good for. So we're going to cover some of those topics today. So let me just bring Beth on. Hey, Beth, thank you for being with me today. I appreciate you giving me some time to talk about Forskolin today. Yep. Hi, Greg. Sounds good. All right. So um, let's pick up. Um, let's first start with weight loss. That's a big, you know, popularity with Forskolin. Tell us what you... Uh, what you know, at least on the weight loss benefits with Forskolin, and then we're going to cover some of the other things because you get into a lot of different uses for it beyond uh, weight loss. Uh, well, if you don't mind, let's um, just let everyone know that this is an herbal supplement. Uh, the herb is from India called Coleus for Soli, um, and it's uh, some people are um, uh, familiar with the word Coleus because it's a very beautiful ornamental plant. Um, it's an annual up here in the north, um, but it's, it's an absolutely stunningly beautiful plant. The uh, particular strain that's used in the supplement, um, as I mentioned, is from India, so it doesn't look the same as, uh, you know, what would we call domestic coleus. Um, and, and so it's an extract, and uh, uh, like you said, it's, uh, it, it's uh, been uh, noted um, to promote weight loss. And it does so um, in a couple different ways. Uh, one, it works on the thyroid. It actually uh, stimulates the thyroid to produce um, the thyroid hormones. And uh, it actually um, works on an enzyme that ha helps the body burn fat. And then thirdly, in especially men, and especially overweight men, it increases testosterone. So... Um, it's very, uh, you know, the research is solid. It's, of course, very interesting, um, but it actually works in three different ways to uh, promote weight loss in, you know, people of all ages. Interesting. Well, I know that uh, it was quite the rave a few years back there, but uh, what about with Forskolin being used? Is it something that you think is uh, good for both men and women? And you mentioned something to me in a previous conversation that uh, you thought it works best in people that are quite a bit overweight versus the person that might just want to lose maybe three or five pounds. Can you pick up on that a little bit? Yep, that's what some of the research shows, um, and uh, particularly the testosterone benefits. Um, that's going to be much stronger. And um, the research showed in men that are you know obese or very overweight compared to men that are just maybe slightly overweight. And so therefore those, you know, testosterone has, you know, you know, especially for men is an excellent um, aid in fat um, burning and weight loss. And so it just does seem to work better in, in men that are, you know, w way overweight compared to men that are just slightly overweight. Um, I In my um, patients, I've kind of seen that also true um, that the, the weight seems to come off better in someone who is, you know, you know, closer to obese rather than just slightly overweight. But of course, as you know, anyone who's tried to lose weight, you know, those last five or 10 pounds are definitely the hardest. And, you know, when you've got, you know, 50 to 100 pounds to lose, um, you know, those pounds, you know, once you make some changes, add some supplements, you know, the weight does tend to come off a little bit easier for those individuals anyway. So, um, you know, but I've recommended it for weight loss, for uh, people who um, have thyroid problems. I like to combine it with iodine because I had come across a, um, a research that showed that the uh, coleus combined with iodine helps the iodine target specifically to the thyroid. The thyroid, of course, does use the most iodine in the body. But, you know, it's also used in the breast tissue and uh, in the digestive system and other areas. So, um, you know, that combination seems to, 
you know, to work well together. Um, and of course, you know, anytime you're, you're, if you have low thyroid, you're boosting the thyroid activity, um, you know, that's also going to help with weight loss as well as other symptoms. Um, so that's, um, and of course, uh, you know, low thyroid is associated with weight gain. So, um, you know, all those benefits, um, you know, definitely come into play. But um, I also have been using it for uh, blood pressure and heart health. Um, it actually relaxes um, the, uh, the muscles in our vessels and also the heart. So if the vessels are more relaxed, um, that is where the, the lower blood pressure um, benefit comes in. And if the heart muscles are relaxed, uh, that is also cardioprotective. Um, because you're at less risk of a heart attack. So, um, and also, it uh, prevents blockage of blood, fest blood vessels, so therefore, um, it has an anti-clotting factor, so that it's also protective against someone concerned about stroke. So there's just numerous heart, um, you know, cardiovascular, you know, uh, be uh, benefits uh, that people, so many people don't know about. They're, they're some, like you said, it was advertised a lot quite a few years ago for its weight loss benefits, but the heart benefits, um, it's also beneficial for um, um, hormones such as uh, insulin. It helps the body become less insulin resistant, which therefore would be very beneficial for a type 2 diabetic and also heart health. So that's really or not heart health, but weight loss. If you are um, insulin resistant, you're going to be very prone to weight gain. And so actually that's a fourth or fifth way that uh, this product can help someone lose weight. Very interesting. Well, you uh, mentioned testosterone with Forsklin, <clears throat> which um, I think that might scare some females off thinking well i don't want a product that might you know affect my testosterone what what do you have to say about that well it's a little bit of a gray area because most of the research that i saw was done on men um and again um you know someone that's more of normal weight you know um we shouldn't be concerned about that um so that's a that's like i said it's a little bit of a gray area Hopefully more research will be done. Um, you know, I've used it for years. I've had patients using it for years. Um, and it's, uh, you know, we uh, that's just, like I said, it's a little bit of a gray area. I'd like to see more research in that. Um, I don't think I'd be too concerned. Um, but uh, in a, a male with low testosterone who was overweight, um, it looks like it's, uh, you know, quite a tremendous benefit. Hmm. Well, when you talked about the heart health and the hypertension uh, and cholesterol, that is really interesting. And I'm looking at a story here right now from the USNIH. The story's titled Clinical Efficacy of Coleus uh, uh, Force Goalie in Hypertension of Geriatric Population. And, you know, somebody can go on there and, and access this article separate from this interview, but at the conclusion of it, it says uh, group one has also shown encouraging results on renal functioning by lowering the blood urea and serum creatine uh, level with improvement in HDL, good cholesterol, while group two has shown better improvement in serum cholesterol. So hypertension and cholesterol is a, is a big discussion here in this particular article. The results have also shown that the same drug can have different properties according to the type of preparation. Da, 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 da. There's too much here really to get into, but it, it's supporting absolutely what you said. Heart health, cholesterol. You don't ever hear about this really. I, all the information on the internet that I come across on Forceflin is weight loss, fat burning. You don't ever hear about the heart health benefits and how it can be really good for an aging population as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, it's one of those, um, you know, maintenance supplements that, you know, someone could just take kind of a low dose to help prevent some of these problems. Um, you know, the, uh, the cholesterol research is new. That wasn't uh, something that um, had really been done when I wrote the book. 
Uh, but I suspect that the more research that's done on this herb, you know, the more benefits that we're going to see. It does work on the cellular level. Um, it, uh, it increases uh, basically a, well, it's called cyclic AMP, which stands for um, cyclic adenosine monophosphate. And it's known to be a, a cell regulator. So it's working on the cell level. Of course, we have cells all over the body. And, you know, regu you know regulation, regulation, homeostasis, you know, these are all very important things that can get out of balance, you know, for one reason or another. So, um, it, you know, it really does have a very wide variety of benefits. It's even known to lower inflammation. It's also known to have a, a beneficial effect on um, ocular pressure, also known as glaucoma. And so, you know, the, the benefits are very, very, you know, like I said, ranging from improving insulin resistance as a hormone regulator, improving the thyroid, improving a lipase, which is a fat burner, um, improving a testosterone in overweight men, um, you know, there's just a very wide variety. Um, in my practice with my patients, like I said, I mostly use it um, to support the thyroid. And um, then secondary to, to uh, help improve blood pressure. Blood pressure can be caused by so many different things. And it can be very difficult, um, which is why there's so many different blood pressure drugs and you know, they keep one didn't work, and so they add another one, and they add another one, they add another one. But I would say definitely that uh, Coleus for school is a definite part of my um, recommendations for anyone concerned about heart health. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, let me pick up on another aspect of Forsklin that you talked about as well prior to this conversation. You said that it has a great effect with asthma, which affects a lot of people yes. in the Tell us about that. Yes, it's a natural bronchial dilator, and um, you know, you and I both know most bronchial dilators have a stimulating effect. They can cause racing of the heart and have other unpleasant side effects. And this does not have any of those negative side effects as a bronchial dilator. And so, um, you know, that was you know years ago when I was you know having a lot of problems with asthma. Um, that was another reason that I became very interested in it, um, you know, just as a protectant um, for the lungs. It's like I said, it's also anti-inflammatory. And of course, you know, asthma, allergies, heart disease, all, we all know now that those are all inflammatory related. So um, very interesting. Um, you know, there was also something in there that it relaxes muscles. And in the lung tissue was one of those areas. And so, of course, if your lung tissues are relaxed and not spasming, like in an asthma attack, you know, that's going to be another benefit. It's probably not going to work. It's more preventative. Um, it wouldn't work maybe like, a, you know, one of those rescue inhalers. It doesn't work quite like that. But, um, again, prevention is the key, um, you know, to support the lung tissue and um, keep those... Uh, um, bronchi relax those little muscles well it's interesting because this is the first i've heard about it with asthma and um, my wife has had mild asthma most of her life and she goes to the gym and she's she goes to orange theory i don't know if they have those clubs up there in in uh, with wisconsin but uh or minnesota she is hammering the gym like an hour or more every day sometimes she does double classes and whenever she used to exert herself with a lot of running, sometimes she would cough. And I've noticed now that she doesn't do that that much. And she takes Forskel and she's been taking it, I think, for about three or four months. So that's uh, just an interesting observation from my own uh, hearing you say that. Yep, it's uh, definitely, um, you know, as I said, I'm kind of recommending it for, you know, prevention for a lot of these things, for, you know, underlying issues that people are concerned about. And, um, you know, it's just a very interesting supplement being it does work on the cellular level. And, um, it, you know, it's kind of hard to understand how it can help so many different things. But again, when something's working on the cellular level, it can just 
you know, it, it really can affect the whole body. Now, I'm just pulling up some random studies here and there from uh, the USNIH while I'm chatting with you on this conversation, but are there, uh, you, you talked about some in your book, are there any specific studies that I might not be popping up with here on my screen that uh, get into Forsklin or that you, you were kind of interested in that helped you write your book? Well, I wrote the book quite a while ago, so oh. I'm not real sure. Well, I, I can um, quote some of them then. You don't you don't have to go on memory. I know it's hard to remember every single thing when you put a book together because I've written a few books before. Human clinical trial um, was done with overweight women. Another one was done. Let me see here. Another study was done, published in 2005. Another one was done in 2005. There was one done in Japan. Another one was done in India. So we, we don't have to we don't have to go on memory with that. I've got enough up there on the screen. What about yeah, um, the any... weight loss benefits? You know, seem to be um, you know very well documented. Um, you know, of course, the effects are going to be uh, different from one person to another, depending upon you know. There's so many causes of weight loss. You know, you can't. Um, you know, expect to, you know, if you're eating a standard American diet, you know, I, I just tell people, you just can't take, there's no magic pill. You just can't expect to take a pill and have the weight fall off. You know, you need to be exercising. You need to be, you know, um, you know, working on your diet, you know, um, you know, eating healthy fats, you know, uh, maybe less animal saturated fats, lots of fiber, lots of plant um, you know, plant proteins, um, you know, you just, you can't, you just can't expect weight to fall magically off. Um, exercise is a huge part of it. I'm a huge believer in exercise, um, and sleep, you know, if you're not, um, getting adequate sleep at night, um, it's, you know, there, there's hormone changes and leptin and ghrelin. It's very difficult to lose weight, but, um, you know, the, the coleus for school life, targets so many of those areas it targets the thyroid it targets the you know the fat burning enzymes um it uh, and it burns fat you know it's a non-stimulant so you're not going to have those you know edgy um you know side effects like a caffeine or ephedra or anything like that um so you know the the uh the benefits are you know very encouraging very exciting um, no matter what the cause is, um, but I still obviously encourage the the uh, working on the diet and the exercise. Hmm. What uh, do you know about uh, side effects or any drug interactions with uh, forceful anything? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, Yeah, I can't think of any. Uh, you had mentioned also the benefit for um, psoriasis. Um, the uh, it does say um, that there is a rare but possible um, allergic reaction. Um, so that would be a possible. Um, oh, the, oh, the other caution is. Um, if you like, let's say you are taking um, high blood pressure medication, and your blood pressure is, you know, fairly low or good. So if you're adding another component to lower your blood pressure, you may need to adjust your blood pressure medication because you don't want your blood pressure to go too low. Um, and that would be the same situation if you're taking a blood thinner, because coleus is a natural anticoagulant you don't want your uh, blood to be too thin. So if you're taking Coumadin or Warfarin or something like that, um, you know, you're, you know, you may have to adjust that dose as well. Um, okay. And then uh, finally, because coleus is a blood thinner, um, you may want to watch out, like if you have to go in for surgery, you may want to stop taking it because um, you don't want to have any problems, you know, bleeding if you're in surgery. Interesting. Well, that about covers uh, what I wanted to get into, at least in this particular interview on the Forskolin. Uh, I'd like to 
let our audience know and they can see on the screen here that uh, Beth's book is available on Amazon uh, Prime. It's three dollars and sixty eight cents for the paperback version. Uh, you just go to Amazon. I did have a little bit of a hard time pulling it up. I guess you have to type in Coleus for Scully, Dr. Beth Lay to actually get it to come up. So if you're listening to this interview, look at what I typed into my search button because when I tried it the other way, it didn't easily come up. Um, but it's also available yeah. on your website as well, which is uh, Recipes for Life with Dr. Beth. Dot com. I see it here on your website, um, and yep. um, I'm also going to be carrying it through our website. And if anybody's actually looking to order uh, Forskolin, we do sell it on our site, SevenLightsHealth.com. That's SevenLightsHealth.com. You go into the search button at the top and and punch in Forskolin. Um, we've been selling it for a few years. In fact, I have a deal you can buy two and get one free. It's a great product. I would highly recommend trying it. Uh, in fact, if you want even more info, it looks like Dr. Oz even featured it in one of his TV episodes years ago. So you could probably access that through uh, YouTube if you want and uh, check it out that way. So anyway, thanks for being with me, Beth. Do you have any uh, parting comments or thoughts that you want to uh, let our audience know about Forskolin? Um, Maybe just the dose. Um, the typical dose is going to be around uh, 100 milligrams divided like 50 milligrams AM and PM um, at a standardized 18 percent. I'm not sure what strength that you have but um, you know I do know there's like some maybe 10 percent on the market so you would have to take a little bit more. Um, but you can also double that. Um, I've had many of my patients on um, 200 milligrams um, you know with no side effects um, especially those that are uh, concerned about their thyroid. So, um, you know, a lot of people get diagnosed with low thyroid and they do not want to go on those thyroid medications and I can't blame them. So, um, so sometimes they will put them on a higher dose depending upon, you know, the health of their thyroid to mm -hmm. help get that going without the side, any side effects. So excellent. So great. Yeah. Well, I appreciate everything, Beth. Thanks for being on with me. All right. Thank you, Greg.